Hello, everybody! This is the OBA2 coming at you with my review of episode 9 of Outbreak Company. Now, let's get into this. This, in a nutshell, was a beach episode. Yes. Girls in swimsuits. Yes, it was that kind of episode. But, in my book, this is, so far, has got to be one of my favorite swimsuit um, beach episodes ever. Not because which girls were in swimsuits. Not because what kind of swimsuits they were wearing. But because of Shinichi himself. Because he is this otaku. And he, it's like, at just his reactions and the way he's thinking and what he says and what he teaches and we has them too. That's just what made it such a great episode. That's just what made it. It's just what made this episode so great. Um, so we have at the beginning of the episode, the, um, they're basically given vacation time, and um, Gardasan basically states that, um, yeah, Garius, yeah, Garius-san states that, well, he states, Garius-san basically states that um, they have this wonderful little villa, and it's right next to a lake, and that they should go there. Um, and you have a large amount of the ups, fun stuff going on. You have um, Shinichi and Musa trying to reenact a basically a beach episode from like a manga and anime where they're like splashing each other. But it's so robotic, so forced that you can just tell it. Um, uh, Mirsa says, "This is a beach episode, isn't it?" And Shinichi goes, "Yes." We finally have a beach episode. So, we have these aspects. We have we have Minori asking Shinichi to put oil on his back, her back. And you gotta know, he's a fucking perv. He's a fucking otaku. And, of course, he's gonna get into it. He's gonna go, damn. You, you see him... Uh, we see Araba, the werewolf chick, basically digging a hole and him staring at her ass. It's, whoa. He, he is a fucking perv in this episode, but we love him because of it. We just love him. And, and we have Pichuka in the castle the whole time, finishing work, and she's told that she can go over there and join him in a swimsuit. Um, when her work's done... And we have all the head old council guys picking out the right swimsuit for Petrica. Yes, we have them. And when they keep on going, they keep on picking these, revealing things. And we know she doesn't have huge tits. We know she's a tiny. She, we know she could be a lollicon type thing. And um, the fact is, there's this one guy who keeps insisting on your classic school uh, swimsuit, you know, the black with the little white square in the front that has your name. And we have this going on this whole time. We keep on coming back to them, debating. This guy keeps on saying, we all know what she should get. And of course, at the end of the episode, she gets that swimsuit and she loves it. She gets the school swimsuit and she loves it. But this was an awesome episode. This was just fun fan service. And not just any fan service. Otaku fan service, which just made this episode even better. I just loved it so much. And then, of course, you've got um, the people who are watching over them taking pictures that they should not be taking. So we had this awesome episode, all this great stuff going on. It's your great beach episode, swimsuits, all this great shit. And, of course, Shinichi at the end seeing Misio's top fall off. It had everything that a swimsuit episode, a beach episode, deserves. So, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, 
please click like if you want to see more. Please subscribe to OBA2 setting out.